So my daughter came home today looking for more practice similar to what she gets in school. So I made a spreadsheet that makes 60 questions similar to worksheets they get in school. And uh, you might find this useful if you need to make worksheets or if you just want practice. It's a spreadsheet. I'll show you how it works. If you were to press uh, F9, you'll see it actually generates new questions. Um, you can see it gives you the answers as well. So you can print that. And most importantly, it lets you choose how you want to choose the questions. So first digit, second digit, you can make problems just from those digits. Like let's say you wanted to do only the fives table. Now when you look over here, it includes only the fives for the first digit and the other things for the second digit. You can also choose specific problems to include or not include. So like include always. For example, I might pick a problem that she has trouble with occasionally, which would be like six times seven. So if I put anything in that column, now that is going to be included as one of the problems. See, it showed up over here. You could also, if you wanted to, not include a certain problem, and then you just put you know, something in that column. Now if you go to print this, you can see you've got this, and on the second sheet you've got the answers. What you may want to do is actually export it, so file, export, and choose PDF. This way it's static, because otherwise every time you open up this file this is going to change, or again, every time you hit F9 you're going to get new problems. One other little feature is I know sometimes people like to have the smaller number first. See how this is five times three? You can actually uh, click on this yellow area and change it to smallest first. And now when you look, it should always be the smallest digit first, just for fun. Uh, you can see there's an ID number with each. That's actually a random number from one to a thousand, but it's good enough for matching up the answer sheet to the question sheet. Also in the bottom here, it tells you what the first digits were being drawn from and what the second digits were being drawn from. So I think these are where my daughter actually is in terms of practicing at school. Um, zero through eight and then zero to 12 minus nine. I think that's where they're at. So when you look at this worksheet, first of all, these problems only draw from those digits and the worksheet itself has the digits that it was made from. So if you find the sheet laying around the house, you can uh, look it up later or you can see what uh, they were practicing. One more time to mix it up, you just hit F9. So this file will be linked in the description of the video. You'll be able to find it there, and you can email me if you have any questions. Hopefully this is useful to somebody.